You know who should have really won that fight between Sakura and Togame? My man, Togame, bro. Sakura don't deserve this, man. My man needs to be humbled. Why am I rooting against the main character right now? I'm not sure. Togame, the Choji. It's not Choji's backstory, but Togame's backstory really hit deep. And Sakura just seems to be this, like... He's just, like, a pretty flat character. He's just static. All he does is blush and be student today, and he's super strong. And there's nothing, like, really developing for him just yet. And I'm sure that's the author's intention so far. He wants to build a supporting cast around them, and eventually, I'm sure we're gonna talk more about the main character and get his development. Because he's the main character. You can't just, you know, complete a story arc or even, like, you know, do a bulk of it this early on in the game. Now, we have a fight between my man, Gojo Satoru. Umemiya say, nah, I'd win against Choji. Choji is so fast. So nimble. He's tiny, and you would think that the weight difference would matter, but it doesn't matter because this is a yaoi delinquent, you know, anime where a hundred pound kid that's like five foot two can fucking almost beat some 300 pound dude. But Umemiya is him. He is super strong, and we have been set up. This guy's been built up to be this giga crack strong character, but so far we've only seen his pacifist sides. But there are moments little moments that one time in the early of the season when he had this like blue aura emitting from him and then last episode the impact frames of black and white umemiya man gets me really really hyped up but i feel like today's episode might be just another yapping flashback episode from choji himself let's begin today's reaction though watch the sky clear up as the fight ends between Umemiya and Choji. And it'll be like, oh my god, a new beginning for Shishitoran, man. He just taking hits? Why is everyone watching like that? Is it a crazy fight? I don't know. I, I thought that Umemiya, like, like m I thought the author might show us, like, a, a ridiculous power gap between Umemiya and everyone else by just, like, obliterating Choji. But it's looking like that's not the case. Okay. The jacket's still staying on? Okay. Oh, I thought he kicked him in the dick right there. That's for the ladies. And 10 per of each gaze. What? But it ain't doing damage, it seems like. Okay, stop. Yeah, you know that? Yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this. Your fists have no weight. Literally and metaphorically. Literally because bro is like a hundred pound, five foot two, nothing dripping wet. But, you know, your fist have no weight most likely implies like, you know, I have the power of friendship and community. I have someone to fight for. Therefore, my fist has the weight of all the people's hopes and dreams. But Choji, you ain't got nothing. That's why they have no weight, right? Come on, I know this, man. Huh? <laughs> Y'all ain't got no friends. No, not literally, metaphorically. Oh, bro, come on! Oh, yeah. <gasps> He's dead! A punch out you landed. Uh, was that a heavy punch, yeah? Yes, because I fight for my friend. We are both in. That's so ironic how he keeps saying he's be gonna become free, but he's pretty much set himself in prison in his own cage through this ideology that strength is everything. He himself is his own prisoner and warden. Backstory incoming? Okay, what does fun mean? Mm. I don't think you're having fun. You're upset. This is a whole therapist session. 
同情する<笑>だがペンになっちまったチームに同情する<笑> I do feel sorry for Togame させてんじゃねえおめみえ such a good guy man Shut your ass up, bitch! You ain't done shit! How many episodes are we deep in? Ain't a single fight! Episode 9! All you do is just fucking doubt us and cry until Umemiya gets on stage, bro. When are you gonna fight, motherfuckers? Yeah, you, of course you're glad because you're fucking weak and you're leeching off of him. Where's your value? I hate this dude! He doesn't do anything! I swear to God. If it takes like three fucking seasons and he develops into a fucking beast, sure. Manga readers, I'll give him credits there, all right? Season three, to be honest, yeah. Okay, we gotta wait season three for him to develop. That's why we're getting such a pussy ass version of him. Because by then, he'll have developed a goddamn right now season one. This dude motherfucker sucks. <laughs> all the jackets falling off, the body's vanishing. Yeah, all your lips. Yeah, exactly. That's the perfect imagery of what is happening, bro. Like, every time someone loses, he's like, someone get this person off the stage and they take the jacket away, right? So, like, all the bodies are disappearing, the jackets are coming off. And now you don't have a group of friends. It's just you and a bunch of fucking jackets. What are you gonna do with those jackets? Sell them? I don't know. Schizo mode. Oh! Is he about to turn Super Saiyan? My man, you're gonna go bald at this rate. And then I'm gonna yell bald at you. Something snapped. Ground. Broken. Desert like. Backstory? Imagery. You're a ghoul, dude. Just turned all your friends away! No, no, no. You're gonna get on Togami's fucking shoulders, then you're gonna be the sun, and everyone's gonna smile. Listen. In an anime, this may be like a really cool hype moment to build up. But like, imagine this, you're in real life and you're like in an IRL street fight. A guy starts to fucking yell and say, I don't know, I don't know, S pulls his hair out, starts screaming while looking at the lights. I would like run away right now. This is insane. You are a crazy person. I'm fucking running, dude. <laughs> Damage? Well, that's a lot of blood. Umimi is just taking it too. Cause he's gonna do some shit like, look, Umimi is just gonna take this shit, pow, 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 pow. And once Choji's tired, Umimi is gonna be like, do you feel better now? And it's gonna be like, oh, he just took those hits. Just cause he could fucking lash at him, be the fucking good guy. He won't lose. He's taking these hits intentionally. He's right. He's right. See, here's the difference between Mad Dog here and fucking Budget Takemichi. Budget Takemichi, five minutes ago, was glazing how, oh my god, I'm so happy. I joined the school, bro. Umemi is so sick. And then as soon as this happens, loses all faith immediately, 180, throws his faith away. While Mad Dog, bro, he's like, shut the fuck up. Have some faith in our boss. He knows. This is a true fan, bro. Motherfucking bandwagoner. Do you feel good now? Are you... Is that it? What? Maybe Umami is dead. How is bro winning without fighting just through words? He just keeps winning after taking like 20 punches in a row. Dude is literally the embodiment of fucking uh, Thor's his philosophy. I have no enemies. He's so good. He's a therapist. Oh! 
This gotta be some yaoi bait here too as well, bro. The biting is crazy. The biting is insane, bro. Ain't no way. The girls are going feral. The gays are fucking hot. Holy. <laughs> Long time ago. Oh, that was Umemiya back in the day? Yo! I'm not gonna say I kinda look like him, but. Guys, why can't you fucking hype me up and say Umemiya looks like me? Instead, you're saying, oh, viral hit Snapper. Snapper is you, bro. It's like. I got the same fucking hair color too! Come on! So back when like Choji and them are all friends, huh? Fun. But it's no longer fun. <laughs> they just like fight and just hang out. Delinquent turtle, just all friends, bro. It's just a fight club, bro. They're actually all secretly friends and they just start beef for no fucking reason and they just a stress relief and they're all like, all right, good fight. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for the fight, guys. Bye-bye. Togami knows. Togami's gonna start crying, bro. Oh my god. No. What are these hands doing? You going for a kiss? You going for a kiss? Head pat? Is he gonna Choji on his fucking back and let him ride him? Like how Togami and Choji, you know, in the sun? No shot. What is he doing right now? Where are you putting those hands, my man? What is this? I love it! It's so good! Oh. Headbutt! Headbutt! End it with the headbutt! Will the rain stop now? The rain should stop, right? Backstory. Now <laughs> <laughs> What's that cat looking at? Oh. They all left you. No, you left them. All you got is empty jackets. Even that broken glass don't want you. Leaving you like everybody did. No, he left them. Backstory, technically. Well, I don't know. Was that the extent of his backstory? People said I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh, Togami! Because I thought my boyfriend was gonna die! Our group's like, nah, fuck you, I'm sitting. <clears throat> Oi! Oi! Can somebody take this guy off stage right now? Fucking throw him off the stage, take his fucking jacket. Give him a taste of his own medicine. It's not about power, it's about... Having friends to hang out with. Togami, tears ain't coming. No. Nah, Togami took on all the dirty work and covered for him. So I became the bad guy. He was trying to piece together the shattered glass that represents their family. <laughs> this fucking shit. This fucking shit. Oh my god.
god. How are you tugging at my heart like that? That's what he was doing. This is actually peak. This is actually fucking peak, bro. I contact. I will not cry. Get up their tears. No, I'm not crying. It's getting me more than fucking Charlotte right now, bro. Little sister fucking sad diaries. I ain't fucking cry. But these gay boys. I think it's because it's more relatable to me, right? I don't have a little sister in those moments of the anime I just mentioned. But something about the homies, man. Something about the homies, man. I can relate to that. No, it's not the yaoi. I said the homies. Guys, focus. I may not be homosexual, but I am homosexual. Because the treasure was the friends we had all along. It's the old cliche, man. Chasing after something without realizing what you had in that moment was everything you needed, bro. Sometimes you're too busy looking at things for the future, chasing after something. And you're too busy to notice the people around you. And when you can't appreciate what you have in the present, it's gonna be gone one day. And when you realize that it's gone, it's gonna be too late. Until Umemiya shows up and gives him a headbutt, then it's back. That is so fucking real. The imagery of him chasing after something, leaving all his friends behind, opens the treasure chest. Thank God it was not a mimic like in Frieden, and it's all dark and gloomy, bro. Damn. That speaks a not just like this specific example, but I think everyone can relate to life lessons like this, where you're just so goal-oriented, you think that you need to fucking Sigma grind. I don't got time for friends. I don't got time for anyone else. I'm just gonna fucking grind and get to that path. And once you get to that goal, you know what you're gonna have? You might have a lot of money, but it's gonna be a cold, empty house that you return to with no one to share it with. And then you'll realize that it's too late. Yo, these kicks are pretty sick, though. I've been looking at these souls the entire time. It's very wavy. So now, it's basically like you feel so empty and you want to like fill the void in your heart. So you just force yourself upon this doctrine of strength is everything. Let's just keep fighting and fighting. And one day, maybe I'll feel happy again. But it never came back. These dudes all look like fucking hentai side characters, bro. They all look like that. But then there's Togami at the back. The eyes are back! Oh! Remember before? The eyes, like, it turned off, right? Dur dur during that one scene in the rain, the eyes, like, darkened, and it, the color was gone, but now it's back, right here. More symbolism! Oh, yeah, throw that treasure away. You don't need that shit. Destroy this reality that you're living in. Go back. Togami, low-key VIP of this arc. He's like holding everything together. Make sure the shattered glass is all good for a past friend. Oh, now kiss. Now kiss. That's just so gay! Now kiss! <laughs> Fuck, dude. <sighs> I'm not sure if Choji's flashback is more impactful than Togami's. I remember someone said, if you thought Togami's flashback was bad, like, b bad as in, like, it got you emotional, Choji's will too. But I would argue, the thing that got me more emotional here in Choji's flashback was the Togami scenes. 
It's literally Togami existing, keeping the fucking shattered glass that represents their, you know, their school together. That's what's fucking breaking me, dude. But I'm back now, baby! Everyone better fucking stand up and go, Woo! Oh shit, Ryuan's up. So what? Uh, now what? Bye. Just accepting loss against Umemiya and then what? Umechan. One more fight? What? Taking jacket off? He's taking the jacket off. The fuck you want me to do with that jacket, idiot? I don't go to your school. You want me to sell it on fucking eBay? What? Keep the fucking jacket. He might be retiring, yeah. Looks like he's retiring. Oh, fuck? First, first, you, you can't just do transfer of ownership of schools like that. Y'all are just a fucking school gang, okay? You want me to manage you idiots too? We're gonna take them in? Really? We actually take their gang? Are they gonna transfer to our school? Like, how does that work? Nah, nah, I fucking slap him right here and say, you're a coward for running away from your problems. You, f you messed this up? Take it upon yourself. Wear that jacket. Lead the school back to glory again. That's your atonement. Oh, Togami's getting naked too. Everyone's stripping. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I don't want to deal with your bullshit. That is a fucking pain in the ass to manage. Wow, we're friends. More than friends, probably allies. And I'm sure this happens in a lot of these kind of like shonen shows where like the enemies in the beginning after the initial conflict then become allies and come in super clutch in the future. Maybe something really bad happened to us in the future for both footing. And it's like, oh no, what's gonna happen? Shishi Toren shows up. Reinforcement. It's gonna be a fucking sick scene. Woo, yeah. It was very emotional. <laughs> That's a wrap. Now go home. Go home to your fucking parents. Sunny outside, see? Sunny outside to represent the conflict is over. And yes, go home, kids. Your fucking parents made you dinner is probably waiting for you. Remember, these are high school kids. Mm. Umemiya style. I love it. I kind of want to skip it because of this motherfucker. I kind of want to skip it because of this motherfucker. <laughs> Blushing. Being a tsundere. Really? You stalled and didn't say anything. That is the most useless fucking outro scene. I knew I should have skipped it, but hey. That's today's episode. This is fucking peak. This is like fucking peak. And you know why this show is peak? It's not the crazy fight choreography and fluid animations of the fights. This, that is simply just, just on the side, right? It's the fucking stories. It's the characters and motivations and the therapy that we're having by having these conversations during the fight without this kind of like background story from Togame and Choji and how the school turned this like this. Without that kind of story, as much as I, 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 I say like, I don't like yapping or like, you know, huh, gay, whatever. No, no, that's what makes this show good. Without it, it's gonna fall flat on its face. That's why it's fucking peak. I really do appreciate all the different characters' motivation and this backstories and how it led to it like that. The conflict and resolution. And it, we're not here to like kill each other. This is not here to, to like to destroy each other. We're here to have a conversation with our fists and to like have therapy sessions for everybody. That's what this anime is. And it's actually so good. Uh, we did win. It was funny how, you know, Umemiya said, nah, I don't really want to fucking, you know, take your stuff. You know, we can just be friends now, so I'm sure we'll be allies. And one thing, one thing I did notice, Umemiya never tried. And that's what makes this even more kind of like fucked up from the author. Not really. It's just hyping up even more. This character, Umemiya, didn't even try. He took all those hits and his intention here was not to win immediately. So imagine how strong he actually is. We still don't know until he actually tries. Is he ever going to try or is he always going to be the pacifist type to be like, oh, oh, let's get beat up. And it's like, are you done? Do you feel good? And he's going to do therapy more and more. Are we never going to see actually angry Umemiya? I know how we can see angry Umemiya. It's going to sound fucked up. Remember that girl? Omurai's Cafe. Someone kidnap her. 
someone kidnap her. <laughs> Put her in danger. Ryuan for classroom elite. Kidnap her. Waterboard her. Umimiya shows up. Ooh, that's when he actually tries. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.